All right, everyone, this is going to be a complete nothing taken out guide for the Curse of the Black Knight's Fortress. Before we get started, I'm going to go over the things that I have in my inventory. I have a Ring of Kinship, a Rope, an Anka Dragonstone, a Raw Fish. I have a Law Rune, the Arc Journal, Wicked Hood, the Heart Teleport Tablet, and a Dungeoneering Cape. To get started, we're going to go to Damonheim. And we are going to talk to Bryle. Spam through the chat. Select option three. Accept the quest. Now we're going to go over to the arc. Teleport with your arc journal. Select Port of Serum. Travel to Waco. Now we're going to go to the Bamboo Merchant. Talk to the Bamboo Merchant, press option one. Spam through the chat. Now we're going to go back to the Quartermaster and we're going to teleport to Wales Ma. When you get here, we're going to go northwest to the Sea Witch. And we're going to select option one. Now we're going to dig the sand around the area until we find something. We're going to select option two. And then you're going to come over here and check the turtle on the dock. And we're going to use our arc journal to teleport back to Port Serum. And then we're going to teleport to Toilet. We're going to head over east into the market area. And we are going to talk to Sensei Seaworth. Talk to Sensei Seaworth and select option one. Spam through the chat. Teleport back to Port Serum. Teleport to Goshima. Select option one when you get the chance. When you get here, you have to kill 12 Crassian warriors. I'm going to speed this part up now so you can pause the guide if you need to.
Now head over to the gate in the center of this place and enter. Talk to the madam and select option one to talk about the jade spider. Now at this point, if you haven't completed Temple of Amanishi, you have to do it, but you can do it in story mode. I've already done it, so I'm going to select option one, skip the dungeon. Now we're going to head over to Varrock. I'm going to use the lodestone. And we're going to go over to the museum. When you get here, go down the stairs. Go around to the back and enter the door. Start a conversation with this dragon and select option two. Spam through the chat. When the conversation is done, use your ring of kinship to go back to Damonheim and talk to Brile. Now that you're here, talk to Brile and select option three. Go south, investigate the water fountain. Then investigate the fireplace. Cut the dragon stone inside your inventory. Select the option to create the right eye. Use both dragon stones on the statue. Select option one to place it inside the socket. Then head west. Climb down the crumbling watchtower. When you get here, go west and talk to Hannibus. Now you need to make your way over to the Adamant Dragons. I'm going to use my cape, teleport to the Metal Dragons. If you don't have this, you can go to Brimhaven and then enter in through the other way. I will show you what it looks like when I get to the staircase to the Adamant Dragons, just so you can see. As you can see, if you go to Brimhaven, you will be entering here and you just have to walk around the moss giants through past the fire giants and cut this branch to be able to go in this room. When you get here, click on the Adamant Dragon Dungeon and select option one. Spam through your chat with Hannibus.
When you get here, go east into the room, and you're going to be interacting with an object on the wall. Investigate the mithril smelter. Now you're going to head west and talk to the dragon. You will not be able to surge in this area, unfortunately. When you get here, try to talk to the dragon. Spam through your chat. Wait a little while. Click the dragon again. Spam through the dialog. Select option one, can you heat this metal? And then select option three. Now you're gonna head over into the main area. And you're gonna investigate the pit. Select option two. Now you're gonna investigate this dragon head. And you're gonna investigate, you're gonna use, and you're gonna use option one. Use your ring of kinship to go back to Damonheim and go into the laboratory. When you get here, enter in the main room, investigate the effigy on the shelf, and use option two. Okay, I'm gonna make my camera go north and I'm gonna walk you through this puzzle. First, we're gonna activate the Dragonkin statue north. Then we're gonna go west and activate the statue there. Then we're gonna go east, and then south. And then we're gonna investigate the statue in the middle of this room. Then we're gonna go into the next room. And we're gonna investigate the statue in the middle of that room. And then we're going to head directly west, north, and then west again and investigate the last statue. If for whatever reason this doesn't work for you, you can right click on the statues and click reset and do this puzzle again. Barring something going extremely wrong, this should work for you, no problems. Go east, then north, then click on the portal and select option one. When you get here, hold down spacebar, spam through the chat. Go into the center of the room and talk to the dragonkin. Hold down spacebar. Then teleport back to Damonheim and talk to Brile. Select option three.
At this point, if you haven't done the Dragonkin Laboratory, you have to do so, but I've already done it, so I'm going to skip this dungeon. You can do this dungeon on story mode if you haven't done it. Now we're going to teleport back to Gashima, so we're going to teleport with our Arc Journal, go to Port Serum, travel with the Quartermaster, and teleport. And select option 1, the Black Stone. When you get here you should see a little bit of a cutscene. Spam through your chat. With that done, teleport back to Damonheim. Talk to Bryle, and select option 3. Teleport with your Wicked Hood. Go into the center platform and go down to the bottom floor. When you get down, go north. Talk to Wizard Myrtle. Select option 1. Select option 4, then select option 1. Now you're going to teleport to Edgeville. When you get here, go south. Click on your vial, then teleport to Al Karid. Go east, and then south. Go through this doorway. And then to the doorway, click on your seaweed. Go all the way into the abbey. Click on your wet seaweed, dry it, then combine your potion, then drink your potion. Now you're going to teleport back to Edgeville. If you have the quest done, you should be able to use this suit of armor on the wall here. Take that. Go north. Go to the artifact and click on it. 
select yes, meet with Hannibus, and spam through the chat. Now we're going to go back to Varrock. And we're going to head to the museum. Doing this quest with mobile on one of your gear pieces is definitely recommended. Go down the stairs. Then enter the door behind the stairs. Talk to the dragon and select option 2. At this point you would break your heart teleport tablet if you've completed Tales of the God Wars, but I haven't, so I'm going to teleport to Bandit Camp. And I'm going to head west. You can alternatively use the Desert Amulet and teleport to Narda, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to walk over to this carpet. Travel with the Rug Merchant, fly to Narda, go over to God Wars 2. Select option 1 to meet with Vindicta, and hold down spacebar. Teleport to Damonheim. Then head east. Go down the stairs. Continue going east down two flights of stairs and talk to Brile. Go through the chat with him, then talk to Quartermaster Gully, and go through the chat with him. When that's done, use your Arc Journal, teleport back to Port Serum, then teleport to Waco, then cross the docks, go south, and then east. When you get here, talk to Steven. Spam through the chat. And now we have to find six seagulls. To find the first one, go south.
Talk to the seagull on the barrel. Then go south again. And talk to the next seagull. Head west and go on the docks. And talk to the next seagull. Then head west again. And in the middle of this ship, there's a seagull on a box. Then go west again. There's another seagull on a box. Teleport with your arc journal. Teleport with your arc journal. Go to Port Serum. Travel with Gully Master. Travel with the Quartermaster back to Waco. Then go east. And then north and talk to the last seagull. Now go south. Then west. Then east. and then north. Talk to the count. Then teleport back to Damonheim. Head east and head back to the war table. When you get here, talk to the Quartermaster. Then talk to Brile. Then talk to Higgs. Now you have to make your way over to the Taverly Dungeon. If you have the Dungeoneering Cape, you can use that now. and you want to go to the Taverly Blue Dragons. This only saves you a little bit of time. You can also just use the Taverly Lodestone. Go past the Chaos Dwarves. Past the Hill Giants. And further into this area. Just to see this on the map, when you come in, you will be over here and you just have to make your way around the Chaos Druids, through the Animated Axes, past the Poisonous Scorpions, and into the Black Knight's base. 
talk to Lieutenant Crane, and select option one. Be forewarned, you are probably going to hate the whole next section of this quest. Teleport to Edgeville. Then we're going to make our way over to the Black Knight's Fortress, using the armor that we had already. If you don't have access to this armor, you can use other armor to be able to get inside the Black Knight's Fortress. When you're here, enter in, talk to the guard at the door, when you're done with the chat, head west, then north, and interact with the suit of armor. Next, head south, then north, then west, and go up the staircase. Talk to the slave against the wall. And now it's time to go back to Lieutenant Crane. When you're here, talk to Lieutenant Crane. Select option one. Now you're gonna head back to Edgeville. And you're going to go inside the Black Knight's Fortress again. When you get here, go back and interact with the suit of armor again. Then you're going to go back up to the second floor and talk to the slave. Talk to the slave. Select option three. Then select option one.
then option one again. And you're going to wait for this cutscene to be finished. Hold down spacebar. Select option two. When that's done, talk to Lieutenant Crane. Now head back to Damonheim. And go east back to the war table. Talk to Higgs. And we're going to head back over to Edgeville. When you get here, go upstairs. Then enter into the dining room and talk to the commander against the wall. And hold down spacebar. With that done, talk to Crane. Then teleport back to Damonheim and go to the war table. When you get here, talk to Brile. Go through the chat. Say anything that you want.
select another option. And when that's done, talk to Brile again. And at this point, you have to complete the Shadow Reef. If you've already completed the Shadow Reef, you can skip this section. You can complete this in Story Mode or Normal Mode. And once you've completed the dungeon, you just go back to Brile. You'll get a little bit of a cutscene, go through the chat. And that'll be the end of the quest. That's the end of this one. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like below and subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Feel free to take a look at one of the videos on screen now, and until next time, Taki out.